it is quite difficult to really understand when God is calling you or not. Now the problem is how do you differentiate from your voice and God's voice, which most people can't really understand. This movie, God's Calling, tries to explain to us how we can listen and follow through God's voice, which makes it a Christian movie, and it was nice. As usual, my name is Linda. Welcome to The Real. I like that. Can you feel this? Yeah. I got a call today. It was from God. The movie God's Calling was produced by Bibi Sassori. And if you remember Bibi Sassori from the movie of Before 30 and the popular Banana Island Ghost, we talked about a guy who died and then resurrected and go to heaven needed to marry a companion. Kind of really very funny kind of movie. But he produced this movie, God's Calling. And I'm trying not to be biased about it because I'm a Christian. And I didn't want to see the falls or the flaws in the movie. So I tried to look at it with an open mind. And I learned a few lessons. Believe me, it was really inspirational. It was touching. And it was, I was getting to the point where I was almost crying. I'm wondering, hey, Linda, it's just a Nigerian movie. Don't take it personal. But it was that good. The movie featured some very nice actors and I think I was really impressed with how Zainab kind of takes through different roles and you have Zainab playing the main key lead role as the lady who was not wanting to yield to God's call. Now she was married to her husband and then you also had they had a daughter who she loved so much and they felt they needed to really take care of this child and they didn't want her to go to school so Zainab had to quit her job, take care of this child and make sure no one can just maybe corrupt this child, forgetting that God actually is the one who gives kids and he's the one in charge of their lives and all that. They loved this child so much, they didn't want anything to happen to her. The unfortunate thing about this whole love they had for their daughter was God was trying to call her, God was trying to teach her a lesson and she still wasn't listening and they lost their daughter. Yeah. Shadi, you're a very lucky girl. Daddy, what's wrong with Gampy's leg? He got shot in the Civil War. God, please give Grandpa a new leg. Amen. Daddy loves you. Yes. And Mommy loves you too. And God loves me too. So guess what? Not as much as Mommy and Daddy. This was when the movie took a new dimension and a new twist. And then you had the daughter, you know, Zena wondering why God would be so wicked to take their only child away. Why would God be heartless? And she was struggling with drugs and also struggling with not being able to have a child. It was really kind of touching. We're back to this. I won't do that again. God is calling you. you broke your phone? It, it, it broke. It, it rang. It was... It was God. God was calling you <laughs> on your smashed up phone that miraculously repaired itself. So I'd like to tell you a few good things about the movie. So I learned that it's very, impo it's very important that you should listen to God's call, make sure you answer or else he will keep giving you signs till you answer. I learned that it was important for you to love your family, be there for them, but also understand that he's in charge and in control of everything. A few key lessons there, you know, and also life lessons that people can learn from. But there are kinds of some flaws that I was wondering, how did that happen? How can God call your mobile phone? Like really, that was kind of deleting God or making it. But they wanted to actually kind of depict the fact that God was always calling. And the easiest thing to explain to people was the you know, issue of your phone, your mobile phone, and then God calling that. But I just think that was necessary. Pastor, I'm not a missionary. My poor husband. Also, please, I would like to also plead with you, make sure you do subscribe to our channels at Business The on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, we would always like to hear your comments and your verdict. Do have a nice day. I like that. Can you feel this? Yeah.